any pretty much any other spot certain spots like if I were to attach myself to her foot or her, her calf or thigh she'll like swap me in an instant if she gets the chance and uh, I try not to go for those spots because I don't like dying <laughs> because then you gotta oh shit because then you gotta start over battle time now as you can see battles are pretty much the same except for two things one no three things I take that back one, there's a stress meter now. Unlike the first game, you hit like two or three spots and then they stop attacking you. In this one, you can pretty much hit any spot you can suck from. And it pretty much turns into like a hit system. So I can go lock on, hit, did 41 damage, and her stress bar goes down. So basically you're just supposed to relieve her of her stress while, without trying to get killed. So like each time I hit her, it goes relax, that was a good and then they make like some sexual moan. I'm I'm telling you guys, the father is so homosexual. What you you guys are gonna laugh when you when you hear what he says when you <laughs> when you hit him. You guys are gonna be like, oh my god, they actually put that in the game. <laughs> All right, that noise. Just let me know that I unlock the new uh, pressure points bot, which will ail her, which will ail whoever has an ailment of that spot. Like each spot does something else. Some spots do the same thing as others. So like if you can't reach one spot, you can go for the other one and, and vice versa. Stuff like that. Sucking your blood, so good to me. Tastes like blood, it's all metallic. I unlock another spot. See, that's that's all she does. She goes, I'm itchy, and she like waves her arms around like she's retarded. But if I were to suck blood from anywhere else, she would just swat at me. And I don't want to take that chance because <laughs> this game is very tedious when you have to start over. Can I just finish, please? Jeez. Before I even like stuck my whatever this thing is considered my nose. The hell? I'm Super Saiyan! Woo! <laughs> oh, before I forget, as you can see, um, basically I have more than one uh, tank of blood. So once I get the requirement of blood and I get rid of the ailments you can pretty much leave the game is letting me know I can leave right now or stay and get more blood I'm gonna stay and get more blood because I can and more blood equals more points as I said before so I'm gonna stay and get more points like a man and everybody else who plays this is gonna run away like a little girl I'm sorry I'm sorry I won't stick your back in anymore psych I'm almost done. So I guess once I finish this, once I finish the American Bandit Keith <laughs> Mosquito scenario, I'm gonna go for uh, Mr. Mosquito scenario because I never played it and I want to see how it is. Cause oh my god! All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it might be uh, different, I don't know. It might be the same thing, or it might be different. I never took the time to look at it to see what it was about. So, uh, I just want to see what's in there. Yeah, Ooh, what'd she say, Michael? She's always saying, like, random guys' names. Like, I remember, it. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, but <laughs> it's going to be in one of the levels coming up. You're going to see it. I'm not going to spoil it. And that's the one thing about this is that's one of the reasons why I don't like replaying games because I end up spoiling everything <laughs> which is why if you guys watch my uh, obscure and obscure the aftermath or watched any part of my obscure the aftermath I don't got all the videos for aftermath up yet but uh, I will sooner or later but uh, if you have uh, seen any of those you'll see how I'll, I'll say either like uh, 
if I remember correctly, there's gonna be like a monster here, or if I remember correctly, we mean like three statues, or if I remember correctly, this person does that, and I consider that annoying. Even though I'm the one doing it, I, I consider it annoying. Because you guys who are watching have pretty much haven't seen the game, or maybe you have seen the game, but for those who watch and haven't seen the game, I really don't want to spoil it for you, because it's not fair, and they're like, damn you! suck I wanted to see that for myself <laughs> but anyway let me get out of here all right should be a cutscene coming up Always remember to change into your nightgowns and brush your teeth before going to bed. What? <laughs> that was random. <laughs> Alright, so here's the breakdown. Uh, it took me seven minutes, so I get no bonus points for uh, taking so long. Uh, they pretty much have you timed for when you're doing this doing the missions they just don't show it so you actually don't know how, how long you've been doing it until after they showed you sometimes the, it actually takes me longer than seven minutes I remember one time it took me like a fucking like hour to finish a level mainly because I did not know what ailment was I didn't know what I was going for for the ailments I didn't know what spot so I would just like make the mosquito attach himself to anywhere on the body and that pretty much, uh, that was pretty much how I figured out where to suck blood from. So we just save, alright, and uh, let's go to the skills, put some skills up. As I said before, I don't know which one is which, so I'm just gonna try my best to make them, uh, even. Let's see, I still have 50 health, so. Alright. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. I just came from school. I, I really wanted to do this because I did it earlier and it got fucked up, so I wanted to redo it again. Alright. Time to taste some of John's blood. John is in the middle of working out. He is absorbed in toning his body, so there should be plenty of opportunities for some good blood sucking. Mm-hmm. Plenty of opportunities for some good blood sucking. Alright, so we're gonna watch the Yamada family first, and then we're gonna move over to the brown, watch that, and then I'm gonna start. I'm guessing they're really tired because they just like come in and lay on the floor like they're dead. <laughs> like, look at the dad, he's just like... Oh. <laughs> Don't make me a sandwich. <laughs> oh, called you mama. なあ。今から<笑> <laughs> and he just rolls over. <laughs> and then he rolls back. <laughs><笑><笑> <laughs> 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 
<笑>いいわねああはいはいおやすみ<笑> They're just like rolling all over the place don't know why they're just doing it for fun soaking up the atmosphere and whatnot I think I got bitten by a mosquito when I was sleeping alright I this, I consider this the funniest conversation in the game. Not right. this part, hey, but no what the dad and the daughter when they start exchanging stuff to each other. Outside. Hmm, maybe. Something's bothering me. The Yamadas left a lot of their food. I wonder if they didn't like it. No, no, honey. You're a fabulous cook. Hey, maybe Japanese people only eat sushi. My guess is that since the Japanese are compact, their stomachs must be smaller too. You think? Well, I hope so. Wait a minute, isn't it the other way around? Their stomachs are small, and that's why they are small. Well, it's hard to be born with a big stomach if the rest of you is petite, isn't it? And therefore, I deduce that the Japanese are small, and so it follows that their stomachs are small as well. No, that can't be it. Their stomachs are small, and that is why the rest of their bodies don't get much bigger. My point being, they can't eat much, and that is why the rest of the bodies are small. No, I completely disagree. If you were to look at Japanese houses, for example, they are very small. So they have to be small, and therefore their stomachs became small because their bodies are small. <laughs> I don't think so. Japanese cuisine is big on presentation and small on portions. So the fact of the matter is, their stomachs had to become smaller. And then their bodies just followed on the road to smallness. Okay, you two. <laughs> Darling, it's time for your post meal workout. <laughs> what? You're right. Like, then their bodies had to follow on the road to smallness. Like, she's talking as if she's making... Complete. It, 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 she didn't make any sense whatsoever, but she's talking like she did. He's like, yeah, their their bodies are small, so yeah. And Dad's like, no, <laughs> their stomachs are small, and then their bodies are small. No, their bodies are small. Double biceps back. Hmm, that looks nice. Hmm. All right, so level two, John Brown, you're going down to Chinatown. All right, so basically, he's a athletic worker. Uh, I don't know. He's very athletic. He likes to work out all the time. Uh, he's always in that speedo, as I said before. He never puts on any clothes. He always wears the banana hammock. And speaking of banana, he has a banana up here. Mm. Bananas keep him calm. So he doesn't go ballistic. I have a backache. I have a backache. So, you know. Now yeah, he got this poster sign. And, you know, showing off this guy's ass. <sighs> All up in that banana hammock. I'm actually trying to get over it, but the game is not letting me. <laughs> Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Wrong spot. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, he has... Uh... He has three ailments. One is a backache. He said it not too long ago. Uh, another one is shoulder ache, and the third one, he's talking about his stomach. He says he's not hungry, so I deduce <laughs> that uh, he has a stomach ache, which is that what I just landed on, but he... Ooh. All that good stuff. Suck it out of him like a man. Alright, so if you look at the little, uh... No! I was about to explain something. Lovely knowing you for a short amount of time. Ah! 
All right. That was a douche move, man. Douche move. You're going down. As soon as the game loads up again. Double biceps back. Double biceps back. All right. Let's try that again. Um, I'll explain what I was trying to explain before he swatted me once I get on him again. I'm pretty sure... There we go. That's the shoulder. Alright, so if you look where the mosquito is sucking blood, like, you'll see the music notes. Music notes let you know you're hitting the sweet spot, you're getting a lot of blood, and that's a good thing. You're getting a lot of blood fast. Um, come on. Um, and if you're not rotating in sync for the the music notes, you get the sweat beads showing that you're you're working for the blood and you're not getting as much as fast as you should be. So it's very different compared to the first one where you just attach yourself and then just rotate as fast as you can until your tanks are full and then you fly away. Well, you don't rotate as fast as you can. You gotta keep it between the the little blue bar that moves up and down on occasion. But pretty much, you just gotta rotate really fast for the most part. There we go. Oh, oh. no! I, I kind of gotta go near the the banana hammock. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's where his stomach ache is. Hit him! He can actually hit me when I'm right here, so I gotta be careful. Woo! I'm a ninja. He's hating right now. He's hating so hard. He's like, damn it! Mosquito got away! Die! <laughs> Alright, that there, what it just did, that's pretty much like a- oh shit. He's looking for me now. Uh, away. No! And he does like the, the worm with his eyebrows. <laughs> anyway, that, that little bonus thing is exactly what it is. It's a bonus thing, so... I got the spot. So basically, when you unlock the, the pressure points, they make it easier to relieve ailments. Once you unlock the pressure point, you do not have to suck blood from that spot. You can just get into a battle, as I just did, and hit the spot by flying at him, and then the ailment will just go away. But if you don't have that spot, you gotta suck at that area until you get it. So, the reason why I didn't get his back was because I don't have that. I have to go near his butt crack and get it. See, now I got it, and now it's going away. And now it's gone. And now I just gotta get the... That itches. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get the full uh, nine tanks, and then I can get out of here. I'm just gonna keep going for his butt, because he doesn't swat at me when I go for his butt, apparently. He likes it when I suck near his butt. Okay, nah, let me stop. I'm done. I'm sorry. Chill, bro, chill. <gasps> like, if you <laughs> watch him when he gets stung, it's like... It's like somebody stabbing a needle into him, like he jolts. All the... All the people you suck blood from in this game do that, I don't know why. Like, they, they jolt up as if they're being stabbed. I mean, you you don't feel a mosquito when it stings you. One more. You can actually like release yourself. That itches. Should I 
suck blood from you? <laughs> I love that one. I'm swimming in your blood. I don't know the difference between those two. I mean, they both get the blood, but I don't know if this one benefits over the other one. I mean, it takes longer to actually attach yourself to the the person, but I mean, I don't know if you get blood faster if you do it that way or whatnot. Because I, I normally don't do it that way. I've only done it how way he zigzags away like three or four times. Because it takes so long, and usually before you even land on him, he swats you, and you're just like, Damn it! <laughs> Why'd you hit me? That would be so rough. Almost done. Uh... Yowdy! Perfection. That is so wrong. No. no. <laughs> the man of steel has an Achilles toe. No. No. <laughs> oh God. All right. So I pretty much got the, the same score as I did last time. And I get the same amount of points, 12. So. I'm gonna save. No, first I'm gonna put the points up. Um, here. All right. You can actually do it automatically. This one's for auto and I will put them up for you or this one's manual if you want to do it yourself. I like doing it myself because I like evening everything out. Or at least I try to even everything out. Um, I'm just gonna save this one. Okay. okay save. Okay, um, that's it for now. I just wanted to get back to where I was earlier today because I had to redo it as I said before. Now that I'm back up to where I was, next time I play, I might play longer. So, uh, this has been Masamaki21, aka Fatboy D. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>